Something new just came in. Hey folks, Millennium Edition 56 here with you once again. And we got a little something from Xfinity. We have the X1 Entertainment OS wireless router. So let's take a look at this bad boy and see what we get. Now this is an awfully big box for a wireless gateway. But it's also a router too, so let's take a look at what we got. Let's get started. Welcome to Xfinity. That's kind of cool. Uh, Alright, so we have the router itself, which is an XB3. We have what looks to be a patch cord. I'm not sure if that's an Ethernet. Yeah, it's Ethernet. We have a, Cox a couple Coxal cables, it looks like. Two sizes. We have a two-way splitter at 1002 meg. We have the power cable. And we we have the some sort of mounting studs. And that's really it. There's a couple other studs in here. That's the wrapping the modem came in, but of course my mother beats me at the unboxings every time. Here's the modem or the router slash modem slash well whatever the heck you want to call it itself we have indications for power usds online 2.45 gig which kind of surprises me that they send something like this out for free two telephone type whatever the heck they are and battery we have a reset switch two usb3 ports which i can definitely make use of two telephone cord thing whatever's four ethernet connections one of the ethernet connections is going to my computer because uh, my computer is going to have uh, the because my computer is going to have the loyal spot right next to the television and then down here we have our obligatory uh, power jack so why is this thing so big well, like I said before, it's a router, and it's a, uh, it's one of those, uh, I'm trying to think here, because apparently I can't think straight when I get something new like this, but it's both a router and a, uh, gateway. And here's how you activate it. They give you nice instructions, too. I like that. You can take this off, and... Here it is. It looks, you can see sort of the inside. I'm not going to take it apart because it's brand new. But uh, I'm going to show you in the next clip, I'm going to show you what this thing replaces. Okay, so now we're out in the computer room, as I would call it. And here's what this uh, new contraption replaces it replaces this piece of crap UB D3.0 uh, modem. It's just a modem, it's nothing special. And a Linksys EA6350 Linksys. router. Uh, this this modem's a Linksys, or this router's a Linksys. But the new one we got is actually made by Cisco. And uh, here's what's on the back of that router. There's a power plug, four ethernet jacks, and a USB port pretty much. Of course this thing's getting nuked from orbit. I still haven't decided if I'm going to configure it as a wireless uh, a wireless access point or, or if I'm just going to uh, or if I'm just going to put it in the parts bin or something. This modem or this router. We're keeping that router. Okay. All right. So apparently that way when you're on and I'm on, you're not slowing me down. You so uh, so I guess this is my access point. <laughs> so. I'll, so I'm going to have to uh, plug that into the Ethernet jack there, or Internet jack there. And that's my new access point, so that's cool. Okay, so it's been a week later, and i got a couple things to say about this router. So first off, it gets really hot, just like the old Linksys did, so I had to borrow my notebook cooling pad which I will have a teardown uploaded here soon. And uh, 
that's what cools this unit and it does get quite hot and it will uh, I've also learned that it will do 1440p streams because obviously I have it in 1440p mode it's entirely made out of plant. Oh, whoops. I wanted to get to the funny part of the video. Screws, or eight screws actually, of which I certainly steal or maybe zinc with So, here. Here's the 4K test, folks. But <coughs> <coughs> it also comes with this big sticker. It does not work. Well, it somewhat works, but it's not usable. However, 1440p HD, after you give it a little time to buffer, it says, does work. California Proposition 65 warning. Products with exposed solder may contain lead, a chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects and other reproductive harm. Really? It's plastic. So I'm going to make a proposition, and I'll, I'll call it Proposition 69, and say that, warning, this piece of paper may contain bullshit for the rear Ah, uh, that's the funny part. And also, this thing also comes with Xfinity TV, where you can watch TV online, pretty much anything, apparently. Like, I tested it with the Weather Channel, which does work, although it's a little pixelated kind of like that box all the way over there. Don't know how well you can see that. It's also loaded with ads, which kind of oh ticks me gosh. off. A Something I've never seen in my life. Hold on too tight. Oh yeah. What you do here so is to set it to high resolution. To you that. And there you go. Right. It's pretty much in high definition. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's a. It's about the quality of the uh, Xfinity TV box, as said, and I will also show you guys TV show from Xfinity on demand. I may not like it all that much. Oh, I found Shark Tank. It's loaded with ads, though. That's the sad part. And it always says this, your video will resume shortly. And it also works on pre-recorded. So that works. And yeah. So is this router recommended? If it's given to you for free, obviously, you're just going to say yes. Take my money and run, pretty much. But if you're one of those people, you know, the ones that are considering an upgrade to this Xfinity X1 router, model number, what does it say on it? XP3 router. I'd say go for it. It's it's good enough for me. It's good enough for the TV enthusiast even. And honestly, a couple of years ago, I thought uh, watching TV on your computer couldn't be done. But now it can with this Xfinity box, which is kind of cool. But keep in mind, there is one con about this thing that I really do not like, and that's the overheating. That's about the only thing I don't like, is the fact that it can overheat sometimes. Leading to uh, internet slowness, but other than that, you can fix it with something like this. So, yeah, that is it, folks. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment if you have one.